Hey guys, welcome to another Top Table Wargaming YouTube video. This is another review video and it's a review for unreleased miniatures, steel clad orc taskmaster. Um, what I'll probably do is at the beginning, you may have already seen, I'll do a picture of the taskmaster assembled um, from unreleased miniatures and I'm going to show you as, as it comes in the blister. So it's a three part miniature. Uh, from what you can see on your screen right now, you get the main body, um, you get the arm which is brandishing a whip, and you also get a like decorative, um, it's, it's kind of like two horns with a skull on it which attaches to his back. Um, it's kind of in line with the other orcs that Unreleased have previously um, had available, so it will tie in perfectly with any armies that you build in with those. Again, for me, I think I'm going to go with a um, orc force for my Kings of War, and this guy is just another a, another character for that army. Um, when I eventually get round to building it, um, I've got such a massive backlog at the backlog at the minute. Um, I'm not sure when it'll be. It's highly likely it's going to be after Christmas now, um, especially with all the things that are going on in and around the channel and work, etc. So, without further ado, let's get a closer look at the mini itself and the components that you get. So, like we said, he is a steel-clad orc taskmaster. So, as you can see, he's got the plate armor on the chest and on the shoulders. He has like um. It's like a leather skirt type loincloth um, around his waist and then he has the uh, steel plate armour on his shins and across his feet. Um, it's very very nice. I think um, looking at it as you can probably see there are quite a few mould lines. So I've got a mould line up this arm as you can see. Um, and there's a mould line in a very awkward position which goes d down across the head and through the side of the face which I'm going to work with to get rid of. Rid of. Um, I don't see it as a problem. Uh, I'm, I'm okay at getting rid of mould lines especially in delicate places but I would just recommend that you do take a bit of care <coughs> when doing it yourself. Um, to distinguish him from the other um, sort of armor clad orcs he has a uh, cloak um, which looks like it could be like leather skins etc there does seem to be a slight bubble there which I can I can file out again so there's a little bit, bit of work in this guy um, the hand itself um, is fine there's a bit of flash on the bottom again with it being a hand and there being a, a separate thumb there you'd have to be very careful sanding that out but all in all um, it's not too bad um, I can see why it would be quite a difficult cast <coughs> excuse me um, but yeah it's generally it's a lot of character in the face um, a nice pose once you attach the arm which is kind of reaching behind as if he's about to crack his whip um, and push his uh, companions forward so that's very very nice if we take a closer look at the arm, um, the forearm is clad in plate armour and then obviously the whip, very straightforward. That cast is perfectly fine and then the back decoration um, which would be uh, two kind of um, bones with what looks like a human or a dwarven head um, piercing through one of them which is uh, Quite gruesome, but quite cool. I uh, look quite cool on there. I, I'm assuming you, you could probably choose to have the back decoration or not have the back decoration. It would kind of sit like that. Um, if you were having more than one of these, you could have one with, one without to differentiate. But yeah, so that's the Steel Clad Art Taskmaster. Three part kit. Um, again, as with all the uh, unreleased miniatures blisters, you don't get a base with this, so you're free to put it on whatever base you so wish, be it a round base or square base. Uh, whatever you want um, but yeah all in all um, it's not too bad it's quite a nice character adds adds another um, bit of variety to, to the orc army um, so it's a nice addition um, 
and yeah, I think they've done a, done a good job with it. So let me know, guys, if any of you guys have picked them up, uh, what you plan on using them for, uh, and how you're going to paint them. Again, I'm always interested to hear these things. A lot of you guys <laughs> send me the pictures via PM on Facebook, which is cool. But if you could pop them on the Top Table Wargaming Facebook page, and we can get a bit of chat going and things like that, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about it. So keep on gaming and I will see you in the next video. Take care.